there's 70,000 acres out here now that are going to be put to work for the state. So that, that means is, you know, the counties will receive revenue and they can put that towards schools and sheriffs like they do across the state. It will serve as a building block and something that the county and state can lean on as a forest entity throughout time. You know, one of the most satisfying things about this is to know that we have brought a bunch of people together to do something that is going to have lasting value and that it's really something that's in the best long-term interest of Oregon and Oregonians. So we were approached by the Oregon Department of Forestry almost 10 years ago. They'd been looking at this unique property, a very large intact uh, forest in Central Oregon and were concerned that it was going to be developed and fragmented and the values of the forest lost. And so we were able to get some initial funding for it and they approached us to work together, put together a comprehensive solution to the whole property that worked for the seller, worked for the department and uh, allowed this whole project to happen. Buying half of it really wasn't an option, so very critical partnership to make that entire purchase happen. The benefit for us is that now there's a, an enormous tract of land being managed by one landowner. That landowner is in state, not out of state. So there are a lot of benefits to, I think, the, uh, the local economy as well as to wildlife and just managing a landscape on that scale instead of in the small separate tracts that it has been managed for in the past. Um, so we're really excited. I'm really looking forward to working with students out in the Gilchrist State Forest. Um, with the funding, we have a forest right out our back door. We'd be able to have the resources to study the forest, um, the animals, flora and fauna of the forest, and be able to have students uh, work up through their grade levels, keeping with the same plot of land and their studies up through the years. 